Hi, my name is Charlene Campbell. I'd like to welcome you to Call on the Midwife on here on YouTube. Um, this channel is specifically going to be focused on helping people who want to uh, be prepared for field birth support where you're offering volunteer support to women who are delivering babies in a low resource environment. So I will do, um, I'll try to keep my, my clips to under 10 minutes. And then, you know, that'll give you a little bit of a um, idea of how you can embellish your training, um, how you can, um, just the basic things that you need to know to be, um, to be able to serve women in a way that is similar to the inspiration that we have for this um, work. Well, many, many things have contributed, but one of the biggest inspirations really is the work of Robin Lim, because we have the research now. Um, some of the research is, you know, using about 7,000 births that she has done in these low resource environments where she's taken stats and then we've compared them to the obstetrical communities that go into the exact same villages. And she's getting totally amazing outcomes. I mean, it's just phenomenal outcomes com in comparison. Less babies are dying, less mothers are dying, less infection, less cesarean, more breastfeeding, 100% breastfeeding in Robin Lim's communities. If you want to learn more about Robin Lim and her research and work, and humanitarian work with mothers and babies globally, you can go to, um, you can just Google her, L-I-M, like Robin Lim. She won the Humanitarian of the Year Award in 2012. And she um, has clinics in many different disaster, post-disaster zones around the world with these kinds of amazing results compared to the obstetrical teams that go into these same exact same cities and um, areas. So one of the goals that I have personally is to prepare North America and ultimately South America and then we'll broaden out from there. But right now it's to prepare North America because this is where I believe many of the increase of calamities will occur and civil unrest and some other kinds of things that will take place which we can go into later more. But um, how I got into this, long story really, but 35 years of um, experience with, in midwifery um, as a lifelong student and as a care provider and educator. Um, I have created a set of films, a set of five films that are used all over the world in these field births. Um, organizations as well as just low, any low resource setting so anywhere where you do not have access to the to the um, items that you would normally have in a hospital you may have some you know with a home birth and midwife obviously will generally have them or some of them not the ability to do a cesarean not the ability to get you know a blood trans um, fusion but so there's so there's limits to the low resource environment and that's why we're training people to learn how to manage it without the high resource environment around you and that way we'll have better success and that's been proven as we see by Robin Lim's research. Um, what I might do is um, uh, add documents in the text below that I can share with you that might help to um, uncover some of this information so that you can see it for yourself. Um, and uh, I'll continue to, you know, create these little podcasts and hopefully um, if you have specific things that you want to learn about that have to do specifically with care of a mother or a baby in a low resource environment, let me know. And um, check out our, our nonprofit, which this call on the midwife or any of my sales or anything goes to the nonprofit at this point or to uh, supporting 
us so we can work full time on the nonprofit or supporting that idea that we can keep our focus and just take our get our needs met. So um, this is our 100% devotion right now is to do this for, for North America and for the women who will be facing these challenges that are coming. Um, it doesn't really matter where you get your beliefs from. If, if you're in tune right now, whether you're, it doesn't matter what faith base you're from, if you're, you know, more source or universe, Whatever it is, if, if you realize that this earth is literally shifting into another sphere very shortly, and that in that shift, it's going to be like labor. It's going to be like giving birth. So there's going to be some tumultuous, intense times coming. And yet, the truth is that we're transitioning. So the fear doesn't need to be there. Fear always brings distress, peace, light, love justice, truth, divine guidance. Those are the things that we want to focus on for this transition. And in fulfilling our, our own personally directed divine mission. And that is what I'm attempting to do here. So I appreciate your support. And um, I will continue to post um, informational clips on this station that I have filmed over the last 25 years in my filming career. Um, much of it has been saved because I was busy with my practice for the last 10 years and then had a accident where I sustained an injury which created a um, situation where I had to actually close down my very busy medical practice, midwifery practice in Seattle area. So divine providence Gary, I'm now working full time on this, heading down to Salt Lake City tomorrow to teach in West Jordan. The Errand of Angels program is specifically designed for this. This will be the debut of our new film, our new film for Errand of Angels. It's a two hour film and it combines in a four hour class, two hours of interactive role play and two hours of um, the instructive film. And then what we do is we kind of interplay that throughout the class. You get a certificate at the end. It's very hands-on and interactive. And that class is actually free, but it's a partnership. So you provide either for someone in your community or for us to distribute um, mothers and babies kits or some items or cash or whatever that would help to provide that material those supplies to a mother in need in a low resource environment if she's in the childbearing age or season so god bless you and stay tuned for more call on the midwife information i'm going to be excited to share more and more as as the weeks go by blessings bye-bye